I'm driving towards a wedding at the moment. Uh, it's at the, the Belgian coast, so it's like a one hour drive. I was I got kind of bored, nothing really good on the radio, so I decided let's get out the, the Canon G10 and try a little, make a little bit, a little movie. It's uh, already a very expensive movie. Uh, if it, if, even if it didn't work, it's going to cost me a lot of money because while I was fiddling around with the camera, I forgot there was like this. Uh, police speed trap set up. It's a fixed trap, I know it's there, but I was fiddling with the camera and stuff, so I forgot it was there, and I crossed it at a little bit. Of it. Uh, my speed was a little bit too high. So, uh, if you want, you can donate to my PayPal account to pay for this movie. Nah, just kidding, it's, uh, well, I drove too fast, but I don't know if, it, uh, if the speed trap got me, so we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know afterwards. So uh, what I was thinking, um, maybe I can do this more often in the future, is when I'm driving to a wedding, I can tell you guys a little bit of uh, what goes through my mind, how I mentally prepare. Um, some people ask, uh, I get a lot of questions actually about, are you nervous when you drive to a wedding? Uh, and the answer to that is, not really. And actually it depends on, on, on circumstances. Uh, I've already seen the couple, uh, the, 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 the couple that's getting married a couple of times, so I already know them. And most of the time, I'm not nervous at all. Uh, but if, for example, it's like if I know it's going to be a really, really busy day, when I don't have, I'm not going to have a lot of time to, to finish the shoot, uh, when everything is, is like really fast-paced, uh, when I'm all alone, when it's really, really sunny, so that the shadows are are going to be really harsh, and I'm going to have to really watch out and think about every shot that I make because of the lighting um, then I, I get a little bit I, I wouldn't say it's it's nervous but I'm more on edge uh, like today for example um, it, it's 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 a kind of overcast day they're predicting it to become a little bit better but it, it will stay dry uh, and it's at the coast so uh, weather will be like if it stays like this it's it's awesome it's it's amazing light the sky is one huge softbox so I'm, I'm always very happy when it's like this. I arrive at a couple's house and they're like, oh, too bad, the sun isn't shining. And I'm like, no way, be happy. This is awesome for your pictures. Um, take some explication to do. So I can just explain them why and this and that. And then they will look at you in a weird kind of way, but it's okay. You know for yourself that it's gonna be an, an easy day lightning, lighting wise, because yeah, you don't have to worry too much of where's the sun, will I have a lot of shadow? Um, should I look out for spaces of a little bit, maybe a little bit of shade? Of should I make my, should I keep in mind that I always have to shoot like against the light and this and that? Uh, you don't have to worry about that today. So today, if you say that this is going to be awesome, I can shoot from almost every angle, and the light will be good. Um, and that's that's a relief. It it, it takes. It takes one very important part of photography, mainly the lighting. Uh, it takes that not completely out of the calculation, but it's you know that it's it's, it's a fixed setting and that it's going to be good no matter what angle you shoot from. When you're outside, of course, church and stuff is, is something completely different. Um, but when it's like this, it's, it's really cool uh, because when it's really when there's really harsh sunlight, for example, it happens a lot that the groom arrives at the bride's house, he rings the doorbell. And, and he's like half in the sun, half in the shade. So although I, I love the, 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 how to say it, the, the candid photography style and the photojournalism uh, style uh, of, of, of wedding photography, at that moment you have to intervene and you have to, you have to ask them before and like, look, uh, I've checked out the, the, the lighting and stuff. So it's really important that you walk completely outside of the door and take like four or five paces outside. And when the groom arrives, you walk up to him first, you go say hi, you ask how he's doing, uh, if, he, if he feels up to it, crack a little joke, put him at ease because most of the time they will be nervous. And also ask him like, say, son, is, is really a pain in the ass at the moment. Um, please make sure that you stay like a couple of feet away from the door, a couple of meter if you're uh, in the metric system as we are so stay a couple of meters away from the door and let your bride just walk up to you you're going to have an amazingly an amazing shot like that otherwise if you go up to cl close to the door it will be really really hard or even impossible for me to get a really cool shot of you guys that's well lit so just say them i say that to them they will understand and they will take that into account um it's like, I know a lot of people that, no, I don't want to intervene, I just want to let it happen and I'll be there. And it's, it's my job as a photographer to make sure that I can adapt to any situation and that I can make beautiful pictures in any circumstances. Yeah, true. That is your job and they're paying you a lot of money to make sure that you can. But why make it hard on yourself? 
and, and on the couple, if you can just ask him, just ask him before and just tell him like, look, uh, we're facing this or that problem between back and not really a problem. You can't solve it if you want, but just ask him like, this is going to be a lot easier for me, and it's going to give you guys a lot more, a lot more, a really great image as a result if you would just do this or that. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't ask him to to do stuff over like do it again. I missed that. No, that would be admitting that I was too slow or that I wasn't ready and, and I I say that I I always promise them that I will be there, that I will do some do do candid work, that I won't interrupt them. So I will not interrupt them. But if you notice something is going to happen, just say him say that beforehand, like listen, uh, when you enter church for example, make sure that you walk really, really slow and when you walk down the aisle, uh, take a look at your dad and, and walk up to the dad and tell him like Listen, uh, this is your, your your first daughter or your last daughter. Okay, if, if it's his second daughter of three, then it's a little bit harder. But if it's his first or his last daughter, then you can ask him like, say, this is today you are giving away your one and only daughter, for example. Eh? You're going to walk her down the aisle and, and you're going to, at the end, you're going to hand her over to another man. So far, you were the man in her life. Now you're going to hand her over to another man. And so at least, if you want to, I can't force you, but it would be really cool if you would just give her a hug. Yeah, you know, before letting her go, before handing her over to your son-in-law to be, just give her a hug or give her a, a kiss on the cheek. Most of the time they will forget because they're too nervous. But if they don't forget and if they do it, then it gives you this amazing, amazing shot. And I don't see that as, as interrupting the wedding day or as interfering with the wedding day. I, I, I tend to see that as, as, as helping yourself and helping them to get a better shot yeah and when you when you propose these things to them either wrap it really emotionally like for example when I like I just told like tell the dad to it, it's your first daughter it's, it's the last daughter you have you're going to give her away this and that so wrap it emotionally so that it will stick emotions stick they they won't forget them that easily so keep that in mind use that and if there's not really emotions uh, in play like for example when the groom arrives and you want a better shot of the bride and the groom at their first viewing when they first see each other then just simply um, ask them or tell them like you know you guys hired me because you want some really great shots well if you do this you will get and I will make sure that you get an amazing amazing shot of, of the first view of or when you hire when you hand over the bouquet or when you see your bride for the first time so so always tell them what it will gain them don't say like mm, you know it would be a lot easier for me if you would do this or that because they most of them won't won't give a crap they couldn't care less they pay you a lot of money to make sure that you can do your job the way they hired you to do it yeah but if you tell them like look if you guys do this man i will get you this amazing amazing shot so please if you don't do it that's okay it's fine but if you do it man that will be awesome so always tell them why it would benefit them it's really important and that way they won't see it as an interruption they, they will see it as as you helping them actually helping them actively to get up to get more great shots it's what they expect from you they want great shots from you and when you suppose when you propose these things to them they will see like oh this guy really knows what he's doing let's do it they will never ever refuse to do it sometimes they will forget it because they're too nervous but they will never refuse it okay so uh, I'm going to start driving normally now because I've noticed I'm speeding way too much apparently when I'm talking to you guys so um, I hope this turned out okay. I hope the sound is okay. Uh, I have another wedding tomorrow uh, in the Limburg. So that's the entire opposite side of Belgium. That's an hour and a half drive. So uh, when I get back from, from the coast tonight, I'll, I'll check out this video. And uh, you know when, when it turned out to be good? You can expect another one tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye guys. Have fun.